Hi, everyone. Just type a Y in the text chat if you can hear me. Barbara, yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, welcome to today's free webinar on raising your energy levels without external substances, everyone. So how's everyone feeling today? Barbara's feeling good. That's good, Barbara. Okay, so now without further ado, let's get into today's webinar. Now, I mean, uh, type a Y in the text chat if you struggle with your energy levels, like whether it's low energy, little on energy, and uh, just not having that higher energy. Type a Y if you have struggled with that. Yeah, Barbara, yeah. And this one is very common, common amongst most people. Because it's just every day people are bleeding themselves dry and draining themselves without even realizing it. And it, it, it starts on something as simple as feeling bad for someone and then taking on their energy and absorbing it like a sponge. And that's one of the most common ways that people end up drained and not having energy. And then another big one would be not living their life purpose. And they're, and they're basically stuck in a job or, or business that they hate solely for money. And so that it itself will, will leave them drained. And because uh, when you're existing rather than truly living, then naturally your energy is going to be depleted. It will be drained. And another, another common way that people create uh, low energy and fatigue is by what are called portals. So portals are like, think of them like slits in your aura or your energy field. And these, these get created when you basically feel bad for someone else and then absorb their energy like a sponge. Because the, it, is, it is natural and it's a great thing to feel for someone like when they're in pain and all, because then you can use that to like help to heal them when they actually want it. But I mean, but what's not natural and what's not a good thing is when you absorb it and take it on yourself because you've already got your own shit to deal with. And by adding someone else's on top of it, then you're just bleeding yourself dry. And then the other issue that comes out of that is that you're actually stopping them from growing as well. So you're actually stopping that person from growing and experiencing something beautiful of their own. So, I mean, uh, that's one of the most important things is to be very mindful to not take on other people's energy, to make sure you're always staying in your energy space. And you stay, and when you feel for someone, you allow that. But instead of, but instead of like absorbing it, you stay in your own energy and you support them rather than rescue them because there's a difference between the two. Because, I mean, uh, just think of how many people have used other substances like coffee and energy drinks or alcohol and just um, outside artificial stuff to increase the energy. So type a Y in the text chat if you've done that, where you've used coffee or some kind of substance to increase your energy levels. Yep. So another why. Yeah. Yeah. So we've all fallen into that at some point. So, so I mean, because I, I remember for myself, I mean, I'm, I've never like fallen into the coffee or energy drink thing. But when I, but I mean, when I had a stage where I was trying to increase my energy, I myself fell into like drinking a lot of Milo, a lot of hot chocolate and just stuff like that so um, and other people will maybe use food like like sh sugary foods or other stuff to increase their energy levels but the trouble is it think of it like a more like a band-aid than anything because the band-aids it gives you that temporary relief but then ultimately it's not fixing the root cause 
and it's not getting to the root. Because the trouble is when you use external substances, it's only going to give you the energy for a certain period of time. And that's how people fall into addictions because that they need to keep taking it, taking it to actually, to actually feel something. Because when you first start, I mean, your tolerance will be low, so it doesn't require much. But the more you do it and the more you keep on drinking it and other eating it, then the more you're going to need and the more it's just going to do more damage than good for you. And in the end, it can leave you with even less energy than what you had previously. Because especially because sugar is like a high, because it get, once the high is gone, then you go low. And when you go low, then that's when you become depleted of energy. And when you struggle to like really function in day to day. So here's how you can actually raise your energy without using any of that. So the best, so one way of course is by energy clearing and clearing the blockages, the imprints and the other stuff, which are causing it in the first place. But then one of the most effective ways that I've found is by closing any portals in your auric field, in your energy field. Because by closing the portals and also what are called wormholes, because wormholes are like doorways in your auric field where entities from higher dimensions can basically feed off your energy like a parasite. So by closing these portals and wormholes and re-energizing yourself, calling your energy back, then that's, that's what I find works very well for people. Because as you clear yourself, naturally you will increase your energy again because we are high energy beings and high powered but the trouble is as we know through society through programming and when life gets messy then people just allow it to basically break them rather than see the lessons out of it because the truth is we do need challenges and hardships to grow to make us strong and to humble us but the trouble is most people don't see that most, most people allow it to like break them or they try to get revenge and one up someone else or the world. But really it's just, all it's going to do is just break them even further. So, okay. So now what we'll do is bring up the clearing code because by, by increasing your energy levels, I mean, no, well, not only will it be easier to function in day-to-day -day life, but it also is much better for your health. And that you'll also, and you'll find that you'll, you'll want, you'll start wanting to do more things like even go for walks or like do the interests that you love to do, which kind of got lost and all kinds of great things can happen by increasing your energy levels. So it, increasing it, it does a lot more than just making you more energized. It also goes into every other area of your life. And it can also help you to manifest more money even as well. So it can be used for all kinds of great purposes and for tools. Okay, so is there any questions or comments before we get into the clearing? Okay, so no questions or comments. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll do the clearing now. So everyone focus on this code and inhale the code into your aura and your chakras and just imagine it there and close your eyes and just start taking deep breaths, relaxing your mind.
We now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here. We call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron, and Christ and Mother Mary. So only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related now. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this higher clearing code be used <clears throat> to close any portals or wormholes in each person here in their auric field and clear out any other energies that they've absorbed onto themselves and burdens and responsibilities. Uh, and we now re-energize each person here and bring back their vital force energy. So everyone just now, just imagine your energy coming back into you and really see it and feel it. We also clear any dark or negative energies as well from each person here. <clears throat> And we provide a third order escort to escort any discardants to the astral planes justly earned now and contain any of them that resist and transport them to the astral planes justly earned now to Asia in today. We also cut and sever any draining energy cords or a compassionate connections from each person here and clear any sympathy is created and bring back their golden soul fragments. We also clear out any other emotional charges going on in each person here, particularly around occupants and heads and really bring back the gold soul fragments. And we now pour in the golden liquid light and send in the love from the higher mother and father. So Lord, fill them with your strength and your love and re-energize them really bring back their vital force energy <sighs> clear out any other voids as well that coming up and causing them to use external sub substances and help them to help them to naturally increase their energy levels <clears throat> help them to draw it from the universe and drawing it from those higher dimensions as well, Lord, and from you. And clear out any heaviness, tiredness, and lift it off each person here. Or any flatness.
Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Barbara, lighter, definite shift. Yeah, that's awesome, Barbara. Yeah, I certainly felt the shifts going on there as well. Okay, so now everyone just take a glass of water just to integrate that. Okay, so any final questions or comments before we end for today? Okay, so no final questions or comments. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks again, everyone. Another great webinar, another great shift. It's good to see everyone more energized and make sure you drink plenty of water and allow yourself to really bring back your energy levels and increase it and get a lot of rest tonight. <coughs> and and, an, and the, another quick tip I'll give as well is that grounding yourself is also part of raising your energy levels naturally. So make sure you do whatever keeps you grounded as well. And uh, thanks again, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.